The point is, in view of the attitude that seems to be expressed by non-Orthodox Jewry or Reformed Jewry or liberal Jews or non-religious Jews who are only Jewish ethnically and aren't religious, say, at all, uh, do you think this would endanger the stipend, the subsidy, the help that Israel gets from America and therefore would endanger the very Israel that you are attempting to preserve? Wait, wait, wait. Your, your premises are all wrong. And then I'll get to the question. A Jew is a Jew, whether he's an observant Jew or not an observant Jew. There's no difference, no difference between Jews. One, be, one may be an atheist Jew, and that upsets me, but it, it doesn't make him less of a Jew. He may not be a good Jew in, in my eyes, but he's a Jew, as much as I am. So that takes care of that issue. Secondly, I don't want to push the Arabs into, into, into uh, Jewishness. Hardly. We Jews are not missionaries. Quite, quite the contrary. When a non-Jew comes and wants and wants to convert, we are duty bound to try to explain to him the difficulties in being uh, Jewish, so that only if he really, really wishes to, not because of of the problem of in-laws, but because of Jewish laws, that is why. That is why we want. That is the only type of Gentile that we accept, one who sincerely wishes to. I don't want Arabs. I, I wish Arabs to be good Muslims or good Christians or good anything. I'm going to ask them to convert. However, if they should wish to on their own, that, of course, is different. Now, as far as the, the, this entire question, would any of my policies endanger, as you call it, the stipend? I don't know what... The, a stipend is, you mean foreign aid. A stipend is someone who receives a regular annual annual pension. Uh, I don't believe that America helps Israel because Israel is nice. I don't believe that any country helps a second country because it is a nice country. Countries help other countries out of self-interest. Countries help other countries because they believe it is to their interest to do so. If the U.S. government believes that Israel is to its self-interest, it will back Israel. If it does not think so, it will not back, back Israel. But more to the point, I'm a rabbi, and I'm one who believes that the state of, of Israel is not an ordinary state. And, it, and this government did, did not give a bullet to Israel in 1948. Quite the contrary. Harry Truman, one of the great friends of Israel, imposed an embargo on aid, on all weapons in the Middle East. We survived through a, an enormous miracle. This country did, did not give military aid to Israel until John Kennedy. We went through a, a 1956 war without U.S. USA. I said here, when I was here the last time at the uh, press club, I said that if, that if I will be the prime minister, we will ask for the cutting off of all economic aid from America. I don't want economic aid. Economic aid to Israel is like giving a, a, uh, a, an uh, addict his daily stipend. I don't want to be stuck on this. Israel must stand on its own feet. It can't be some beggar with one hand out to West Germany and the other to America and to bonds and to the UJA. It needs private capital. It needs Jews who learn to work. It needs capitalism. And it needs hard work. And it needs sacrifice, cutting the budget. It needs all of the very difficult cold turkey things that any that any addict addict needs. So hopefully America will realize that Israel is a needed ally in military terms, but in economic terms, quite the contrary. It is not helping Israel by giving it economic aid.